Hi gorgeous, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video, we are going to do a contouring slash bronzing 101. Let's get to it. We are quickly going over how to placement, shade ranges, and you know, just the difference between the two. So if you have not already, subscribe, join my beauty YouTube family, and let's get into this video. So here, I feel like you can really see the difference in a sharp contour and a bronze in the natural light. You can see how that has just like a light gray undertone and it looks like a shadow. Now that I'm pointing it out, you can really see it, but in person, I'm telling you that shade is so pretty. And then this is just a light soft bronze. There isn't more structure to my face. You can see the difference, especially here in the cheekbone area. Boom, solid difference. Enjoy the video. Okay, gorgeous, let's dive right in. I want to start with contouring just because it seems to be the most feared as well as the most misunderstood, mis misinterpreted, misused, I guess you would say. So let's start with the definition. Contouring is when you are adding shape and dimension to your face. You are structuring your face. You are creating more shapes. You're enhancing your features. You are not adding warmth you're changing the shape of your face, defining the structure of your face even. So you wanna make this cheekbone right here, we're gonna make it sharper. We're gonna make it more pronounced, more enhanced. We're gonna make it more of a cheekbone. This jawline right here, we're gonna make it sharper, more defined, more slim looking than it actually is. So what we're gonna do first, if you have never contoured before or you're just new or you want a refresher on it, Take a makeup brush, one that's thicker than that, sorry. <laughs> Take a makeup brush and just kind of feel, you can even do it with your fingers, just feel out your face. We're gonna find where the hollow of the cheek is. And I mean, you don't have to, cause clearly that's where the jawline is. But you also, I mean, you're just kind of getting to know your face and the shape of it and figuring out where we're going to contour. The shade of contour that you need, it should be different than your bronzer. Yes, 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 it should be. There are so many different tactics and strategy, strategies to use when picking a contour shade. I honestly don't find one to be better than the other when it comes to other people. I think that is your own personal preference. You can use, just like with concealer, one to two shades lighter than your foundation. With your contour, you can go one to two shades darker. If you have warmer skin or golden undertones in your skin, you should use a warmer brown, gray color. But if you have pink undertones or cooler, fairer skin, you should use a cooler contouring shade. So there are many different ways to find out which shade is best for you. Me, I've done trial and error, clearly for obvious reasons, not intentionally, but I just try a lot of makeup. So I know what's best for me, and I honestly think to make my face look more shadow-like and structured, as opposed to, I just have a brown streak right there. I like to use the one to two shades darker than my foundation method. And I also have a cool tone that I do like to use just because it is so light and it looks so much more natural in person. On camera, I'll use a darker one so you who's watching can see clearly, but in person, you will catch me using a very cool, almost gray contour because it looks so natural in person. So let's get started, just so I can show you how natural this looks and the difference between warming up that skin and doing a sun-kissed bronze look and a contour, reshaping, defining this face. I'm gonna go in with the contour stick, well, the matte stick from Fenty Beauty. This one is in the shade Amber 01. I have fallen in love with this, and I will show you exactly why. The color is a cool, soft, almost gray. It is so perfect for contouring. And if you have super fair skin or even you just want a more natural looking contour, please give this shade or this contour stick a try because it is so natural looking in person. It's insane. Like I just look like I'm snatched instead of you got some makeup on, you got a little line, you know? Like we've all seen that girl. Sometimes it's, you know, even been me, that girl with just a line. 
that's not a contour, that's a line. So we're gonna go under that cheekbone that we found using the makeup brush and we'll start small. I would always suggest that if you are new, to contouring, start small. You can always add more. It's definitely much harder to take off than to just add more. Some people, it helps to just make this face. So we have a line here. Little goes a long way. I'm going to go underneath, not on the side, underneath. And I'm gonna go right behind my jawbone and bring it down. I'm literally right up against the bone. See what we're working with. Sometimes I touch my forehead, I can make it appear smaller just by adding a line in the top corner and we'll buff it out. If you want to shorten your forehead, you're gonna go all the way across. If you want to make your forehead larger, you're going to stop, leave space in the middle, and then do the other side as well. For the video, I'm not gonna do all the way across, I, but I also am not trying to elongate my forehead, I'm just showing you. Take your favorite dense buffer brush. This is the Morphe M439. I will have a link down below. And literally, buff. You can even do this with a beauty blender. Buff it until it is nice and blended in. Remember, we don't want this to show. It's like when you go and get a facelift or you go and get some kind of plastic surgery done, we don't want the world to know that we are reshaping. So you want it to kind of disappear. You want it to just cast a shadow. Most people don't want to scream to the world that we uh, want a slimmer face and we created one ourselves instead of just, you know, dieting. <laughs> And add a little more so you guys can see, make this more precise. Buff out any harsh lines where that completely ruins your contour. And you can literally see the subtle difference in this shaped, more pronounced side of my face than this, which is a little more poofy, if you will. Huge difference. Another tried and true contouring shade that I love, which is a little bit, well, a lot of bit warmer than the Fenty Beauty Matchstick is going to be this from NARS. This is the shade Laguna and it is such a pretty contouring shade. Super matte, all of your contouring shades, I would highly suggest just getting matte. No shimmer. Remember, we're being discreet about this. We don't want anything to enhance the look of our contour. So this one is a beautiful, warmer shade, shade Laguna. I'll go over, just for the sake of the video. And of course, don't forget to sharpen your nose if you would like it a little more slim. Take a smaller, fluffy brush. This is the Bling Brushes F17. Go in with your contour shade. And we are simply going to go down the side of my nose. Being very sure to not forget to place it on the end of your nose or it will elongate your nose. What you're doing here is you're kind of capping it and stopping and stopping the contour instead of making it look longer. And if you want your nose to look a little more perky, I guess, I don't know the word. You can take an even smaller brush, dip into your into that same contour and make a bridge right there. Make sure it is blended. It's like a little square. Buff out any harsh lines. And that makes your nose appear more like a button nose, which is kind of the trend nowadays. Everybody's getting their nose reshaped like that. But I mean, you can just contour your nose into looking like that. Last and final contour trick, my favorite contour trick is to make your lips appear bigger. I'm gonna go in once again with the F17, F17 from Bling Brushes. Super cute, super pretty. Love these brushes, great quality. Uh, I'll link them down below. 
not a sponsored. And we're gonna go in with the same Laguna shade from NARS, tap off the excess. And normally I wouldn't do this with lip product already on. Actually, sometimes I do, yeah. That's a lie. <laughs> but you're gonna go right under your lip. And it's going to create just a more poutier, sultry, sexy lip without any form of lip injection. We love that. So that was a very quick contouring 101. Now you know how to approach purchasing shades. Now you know where to contour. Now you know the concept of contouring. Let's move on to bronzing. Bronzing, we are simply warming up the face. We are hitting those spots that if the sun is out, it's going to come down on our face and kiss those spots. That's where you want to bronze. We are simply warming up the skin where the sun would naturally hit. You can have so much fun with bronzing. Of course, you can do matte bronzing. You can do bronzers that have shimmer, gold sheen. Some of them have pink sheens. I mean, you can just go crazy with bronzer. Bronzing is so fun. You don't have to be as precise. You don't have to have such a light hand or precision on your placement. Bronzing is a little more beginner friendly and a little more freehand. Once again, with the shade, choosing your bronzer, you're gonna use the same concept as contouring, knowing your skin tone, knowing the undertones in your skin, or you can do the one to two shades. You can even go three to four shades darker with using a bronzer. Your goal is to pick a bronzer and contour that's going to harmonize sink in and mesh well with your natural skin tone or the shade of your foundation. Whatever is going to harmonize and just look beautiful together, that's what you want to use. With bronzing, you can definitely pick a bigger, fluffier, less dense brush. I like this one. I've been using this for years. This is the It Brushes for Ulta and it is the All Over... How do I not have these brush names memorized yet? It is the All Over Powder 211. I think they still sell this one. You could go in, this one's a little more dense. I picked this one up from Target. I don't remember the name. This is what it looks like and this brand still sells at Target. I use that one often. We're gonna go in with this one and I'm gonna go in with a drugstore product. This is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. It says Muru Mor Muru Moru Butter Bronzer. I'll put the name down on the screen because I, I probably just butchered that completely. Anyways, so we're gonna take our big fluffy brush. Let's go right into our bronzer. I definitely, definitely like to tap off the excess when using bronzers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go above the hollows of my cheek. Of course it is going to get into the hollows because the brush is so big, but we're not being as precise. So we're going to go right where the sun, if it's beaming down on us, right where it would hit. Light hand, you can see how very light my hand is holding this brush and we're just sweeping. A good rule of thumb is to create, now I don't go in this order, obviously, I start with my cheek, but a good rule of thumb is to create a three on your face while using bronzer. Boom, boom, boom. And those are the places that you are supposed to bronze. Good rule of thumb, the three. Go in, tap off. So we've got this part, boom. Sweep right here. This is a good palette to grab. It's not the most inexpensive, but the quality is great. The colors that you don't use for bronzing, you can always use for a crease shade in your eyeshadow. This is a great one to go for. I like this one right here, just for the sake of the video. Let me. We're warming up the face. That butter bronzer is pretty because it's got a shimmer in it. This is a little more loose. It's matte, but it's still gonna add a really nice bronze to our face, and you can even pop bronzer on your nose. Look how crooked my nose looks because I didn't do that side <laughs> with the contour, but that's okay. It's for the video, guys. It's for you. Okay, I really hope you can see the difference in a sharper, more defined face and a bronzed face. I feel like my face looks like crooked because this is so, it's 
sharpened and more defined and this is you know sun-kissed and cute but it's not near as defined anyways boy now i really look sun-kissed needless to say i also have self tanner on so yeah i hope i have answered a lot of the questions myths you've heard whatever about contouring and bronzing there is a difference you can do both you can even contour and then pop a light bronzer on top to make you look sculpted and sun-kissed it is your face your world you do you you're gonna look gorgeous either way thank you so so much for attending my 101 class if you haven't already subscribe join my beauty youtube family and i will be seeing you in the next video bye